Oh, we've got Stacy Wheel from the town, and I'm gonna tell let her tell you what she does. I'm with the corporate communications and events department. And she's gonna just cast your eyes us across the river. You see the beautiful St. Mary's Christmas lights. Yeah, they're just so wonderful. <laughs> So we got a few questions for Stacy. So you know a bit more about this wonderful thing at the time of the season. First, when did they start? 2001. And who started? Okay, so bear with me here, and if I mispronounce names, forgive me, because it was before my time with the town. So it was James Timlin, our CAO at the time, our incoming CAO, brought the idea with him. Um, so he was replacing Ken Story at the time. And Ken brought together a team. Um, we have Ron and Alan, so Ron McKnight, and Alan Gregory, who are actually still doing a lot of work with the lights. And um, it was, gotta get this right, Ted, because I keep wanting to say Todd, Ted Podesecki at the time as well, so mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. Now in the original display, how many figures were there? So they, we started out with 30, but some of those had multiple parts to them. Okay, <laughs> and how many are there now? So we're looking in the neighborhood of about 90 now. Wow, we triple. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. And adding each year, how many new ones have been added this year? So we have one new one this year from Quadro Communications. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I notice there's a little wiener dog over there too. Yes, yeah, so Hodge's uh, Funeral Home, that um, was their new display uh, last year. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. If somebody wants to create or sponsor uh, something in the future, how do they do it and how much does it cost? And how long in advance do they have to tell you? Um, so we start sort of contacting our local businesses and service clubs in the fall um, because it takes some time to put them together. They're all made with wire frames and, and tube lighting and um, like I said, our talented folks um, with Public Works put them together. So, so if you can give us um, lots of notice, um, that's great and um, let us know sort of what you're looking for. You just contact us at the town. Um, either give us a call or you can contact us through um, our Facebook or email. If you go to townofstmarys.com slash festive lights, there's more information there. Okay. Now, I know it's, you can't say, oh, these are my favorites, but that's what I'm gonna ask you. There's, a, quite, <laughs> there's some a few, because there's a lot of diverse ones there. So some, give me an idea of the diversity of some of the, the displays and, and you know, if you can, some of the ones you really like. Yeah, so I tend to be, I like really traditional Christmas, um, so I love the nativity scene, and we've got, you know, um, uh, we've got some fantastic anime displays as well. The rotary uh, Santa and Ski, ski Slope is really popular, um, so if you watch, you'll see some of the animated ones. And my nephews, they're, they love dinosaurs, they can name them all. Um, so we've got some dinosaurs um, and the Lions Club Lions and just really neat diversity of displays. And when can see people see the lights? They're on obviously now, and, yeah. but, uh, but what, they go until when? Um, so they are on until the first week of January. Our Public Works team will start sort of taking them down January 8th. So, yeah. And I saw on St. Mary's Life tonight, somebody was asking, when do they come on? Yeah, that um, we've said at dusk. So the technicality around that, I'm not exactly sure if it's a timer or what. I know tonight they came on around 5 o'clock. So, um, yeah, yeah. Now, one of the things that's been around for a few years is being able to see them on a horse-drawn wagon. When, when can they do that? Yeah, so we have four dates coming up. Um, there's December 16th and 17th, so that's a Saturday and Sunday. And then um, we have the 23rd and 24th, so it's a great way to spend Christmas Eve. Yeah. Well, St. Mary certainly has a lot of beautiful traditions around here, and so the lights and, and the horse-drawn wagons are, are certainly one way to, to get into the festive season. Uh, we want this to go farther and wider. It's not just for St. Mary's. I know, know that I've seen bus loads coming in here at times. What's the best way to let our friends and other communities know that we have these wonderful lights? Yeah, so obviously, word of mouth, this is an awesome show, so thank you for having us. And um, as well, um, the town is on Facebook and Twitter, so we'll, if you share our posts, that would be awesome. And, uh, and yeah, if you want to just tell people to visit um, townofstmarys.com, um, slash festive lights to learn more, but um, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Stacy. Thank you. Okay.